If you haven't heard of the name Lifestyle Campers before, get ready, this is gonna be one of the biggest camper trailer names over the next few years. And it's all because of models like this, the Recon R2. Now, I'm gonna be a little bit biased here because this is my favorite camper trailer on the market right now. And today, I'm gonna to show you guys why. Now, Lifestyle have dubbed this a hyper camper, but you've probably heard the term hybrid camper before. Now, the thing that makes this one so special, at least to me, is while it's set up right now like a caravan, giving you all the amenities of that, pack it down and it is essentially, for off-road purposes, a camper trailer. It's gonna be similar dimensions as any of the other forward folds on the market. It's the same roof height as a typical modified four-wheel drive. For me, that means if I'm doing remote travel, big Kakadu trips, Cape York, if I'm going to Tasmania for three months, this gives me all of the off-road comfort of a caravan and all of the off-road ability of a camper trailer. I'm starting to see why these things are called hybrids. Now the off-road ability isn't just because of its diminutive size packed up to, the entire thing rides on a 150 millimeter galvanized chassis. Underneath that is Cruise Master independent suspension with a full airbag man setup. Now each side is independently adjustable. And that means you're not gonna roll out of bed just because the campsite isn't quite even. And of course, up front there is the industry leading DA35 pin hitch, perfect for serious articulation off-road, and the Arc XO jockey wheel. Now with any camper trailer you are planning on spending months on and in, storage is going to be a massive factor. And to that regard, the Recon R2 will not leave you wanting. Down the driver's side is what can only be described as a storage facility. It is simply massive. If you've got a kid you don't like, feel free to throw a swag out in there. Alternatively, it is a great place to throw all of your gear, your bedding, your pillows, your clothing bags. It is simply monstrous. Up front, there is two more large storage lockers, and these are protected from wayward stones by sacrificial skin, which is gonna mean even on serious Gib River touring, you're not gonna damage the camper. Up front, there are dual gas bottles as well. So if you do run out, you've got a spare right on board with you. If you've seen quick setup kitchens before, let me tell you, you have not seen anything like this. This kitchen is set up before you even arrive at camp. It simply exists. Open the door and you are face to face with the full Red Arc system, dual AGM batteries, all the controls for all your lighting. And like the rest of the storage, the kitchen is well appointed on that front. Have a look behind the sink and three burner stovetop, and you are face to face with simply massive pantry storage. There's cutlery drawers, spots for pots and pans, and of course all the spots for your food as well. All of that teams up with a fridge slide that fits a massive dual zone fridge too. Perfect for extended trips on the road. Of course there is 180 litres of water sitting underneath and it is tucked in inside too. It's not going to get damaged no matter what fire trails you find yourself going down. Now the whole point of a hybrid camper is that you get caravan style luxury and to that end the Recon R2 is gonna leave you a very happy camper. The whole thing is electric opening. Simply push a button and it sets itself up. The awning as well is a wind out style, so you're not gonna be fumbling around rolling out canvas. And when you open the door, of course, there is even more storage. Bulk options for things like bedding, linen, that kind of thing, but also drawers for clothing as well. Now, each camper is gonna have a queen in a spring mattress. And that, for me personally, is the big appeal when you're spending a lot of time in a camper like this. Now from here, it's essentially a choose your own adventure. There are multiple options of layouts that you can get. This particular one is optioned up with bunk beds. You can of course get the standard dinette or even an ensuite with an onboard toilet. I personally prefer to in the bush, so I've gone for the bunk beds. The lifestyle camper is the perfect combination between off-road ability and high-class comfort. Of course, unless I was gonna make this a 20-hour video, it's impossible to talk about all the features and benefits of a setup like this. So if you want the full story, Make sure you get the latest issue of 4x4 Australia.